Hey, that's fire, bro. Don't do that. That's hard. And he made out of lick. That's raw. That's dope, bro. Good luck. I appreciate that. And nobody never gave me my flowers, I don't think. This is the first time somebody actually gave me my flowers. And I done gave out hella flowers to people. Like, even that. Hell yeah, bro. I appreciate it. Man, that show me love. We coming back. And so I feel like home now over here. I like this, huh? Hey, okay. Y'all be asking shit I feel like people don't. Like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but y'all type, it's different when the interviewer can relate. So you get what I'm saying? That's different. Yo, 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 it's Lil Skies and you're watching Montreality. Let's go, you dig? What chapter am I at in my life right now? I would say the chapter I'm at is like, shit, it's like, it's like a new beginning, but it's not in a way, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm fully independent now, all that, so I really got the leeway. I can drop when I want, I can do what I want, I ain't gotta ask nobody nothing. It's all up to me now, so like, I'm the, really the boss that I always spoke about in my music. It's like, I rather speak on manifestations, sometimes you gotta speak that shit into existence. like. I was speaking that shit into my early songs, but now I'm really him. Like, I'm really one of them ones. And a lot of even people my age, like, they don't get this opportunity that I get in. You get what I'm saying? To be able to come independent, get off your label, like, don't owe them no money, no shit like that. That shit type on hurdle. So shit, I'm just thankful, bro. I'm thankful. I'm excited. I'm ready to go type shit. I got to say in the interview, too, because I don't even, this is where I wanted to say it, though, like, it felt like shit for a long time, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I had to be tough in the music. Like, even when I'm bothering and shit, because it was like, I was going through shit in my life and shit at that time. It was like, I wanted to make that sad shit, but that sad shit was too real for me at the time. So it was like, I don't want to listen to this shit. It's making me feel worse. I'm trying to feel better. So shit, I'm gonna talk about this shit. You feel me? And just give them another side of skies. That's just a phase. It's like, when I tell people my life shit is phases, bro. This shit like a book, like, this is another chapter. I don't even know how it's going to go, you feel me? But I just know I really be like, I don't say I be changing, but like I mold into something. I'm on to something different every time. Like, it's just something. I don't know. And I do that shit. That's why I try not to be pressure myself for shit too more because it's really with ease. Like, so I just got to do it and let it be natural. You get what I'm saying? Do it, come to me and not be overthinking this shit. Because that's how I even got here in the first place. Like, I was just dropping. I ain't care what nobody say. But you going to hear my song, though. Even if you didn't like it, you was going to hear it. Shit. Even that, I done heard songs. Even with the internet now, you hear songs on there. You might not even have a song on your playlist. But I bet you you can hear that song and know it because you didn't heard it so much on the internet. Like, you feel me? I didn't fuck with songs like that. I didn't even know the shot. The, the internet's a gift and a curse, right? Everything a gift and a curse. But that that one song, what that nigga say? Hey, mama, don't worry. You raised the gangster. I'm a survivor. It hurt me not being able to give you what I want since I was a nigga. What? I said, that nigga snapping. He hard. That shit hard. You be finding people like that, for real. I fuck with everybody, though, man. Even the niggas killing it now, like. And so it's crazy because you know how they say you got to keep working, bro, because it's always somebody else coming to see this in your seat, right? But I don't be caring about that shit. I like to see a nigga in my seat. Good job, bro. You did a great. You get what I'm saying? I like to see a nigga even go higher than me. Turn up, bro. Reach new heights, bro. Like, shit, I would want you to want that for me because if how am I hate on somebody to come from where I come from, what I do? Bro, people don't even know Wayne's, bro. People don't know Chambers, bro, like where I come from. Now, like, even shout out my DJ, DJ Rilla, like, we got a studio in my hometown. Bro, we didn't have no studios when I come I was going to Hagerstown recording Bethel Gardens in the projects, bro. Like, recording all my mixtapes, all types of shit. Like, nigga, anywhere. Trailers, fucking a barn, nigga. What you want to record? I'm doing it everywhere. A bus, nigga. I'm rapping the basketball games, nigga. For my school projects, I'm rapping, nigga. You feel me? I'm rapping. Everything. That's how I passed school. No cap. I'm <laughs> writing all my shit. I had to write one about Julius Caesar and shit. I wish I could rem remember that shit. But I killed that shit. My teacher was like, damn. And I took all the... I think that shit helped me with writing. Shout out Miss Dickey. For real. Shout out Wings, bro. Because I took that class. What's that shit called? It's like an English class. Oh, journalism, right? Yeah, I took journalism one and journalism two. 
my teachers would tell me, damn, what the fuck? Like, I'm getting 104%, that type of shit. I'm like, how the fuck I get that? I thought you could just get 100. She's like, no, what the fuck? Like, what the hell, nigga? You wrote a book. Shit's supposed to be four pages. This nigga wrote 12 and shit. I'm like, I'm drawing and shit, but I liked it. That was weird shit, though. It's like, damn, I just get lost in it. I say I go in my room for hours. I just get lost, bro. Like, you know how kids do Pokemon cards and they really do sports? Like, bro, I just did that shit. I just did the sports shit just to do it. But, like, I was really, music was my shit. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, people want to go outside and fun. I want to sit in here for hours and watch the Jay-Z Faded Black documentary and shit like that. Like, all type of shit. I'm just studying shit, you feel me? Like, just for hours, teaching myself how to write. I remember that shit, like, people don't know about that shit, bro. Teaching myself how to write, you be in a room for hours, bro, like, after school. So it's like two jobs. I'm coming out of school, get home like 3.30. By the time we get home, it's like 3.15 or something, you gotta walk home. Then I'm in the room for like five hours type shit. Y'all ever heard of, um, I gotta bring it up. Y'all ever heard of Funk Volume, you know, like Hobson? Yeah, Hobson and Dizzy, um, Wright. Dizzy Wright, Hobson Dizzy Wright. Uh, fuck, what's my other man name, bro? What's yeah. the? Jaren and um, Jaren Brennan and what's the other bro name? He had the black contact. He had the black eyes. The big sh Yeah, the light skinned nigga. Yeah, fuck, what's his name? But like, Funk Volume was like, I ain't gonna lie. See, I never said it on any I'm like, damn, how the fuck I leave that out? Like, even Dizzy Wright, I reached out to him and told him like, yo, like, nigga, them niggas really when I was on my lyrical shit too. That was a phase of my life. Like, you know, them niggas, I remember seeing Hobson do like 5,000, 10,000 crowds and shit. And this is back then, I'm seeing like, I sag my pants until my ass shows. All this shit, I'm like, I just loved it. Like the disrespect type, the rawness of it. Like it brought a whole new wave. But shout out to Funk Volume, that shit fire. Like even Hobson, he probably only think a nigga like me even like loved his music. Like bro, love this nigga music. Even Dizzy though, I ain't gonna see Dizzy. You know what it was? Cause I think Dizzy smoked, so he knew how to talk. Like he just talked some shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Like he just speaks some shit to me, bro. That shit. That shit was fire. But shout out to them. I had to do that because I felt like I done left that out. How the fuck I forget Funk? I can't do that. Yeah, that's shout crazy. Out shout out Funk Volume for sure, man. Shit, 10 years old, I think that's when I was starting to... I ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to have a difficult... Like, I think Juice talked about this shit, but like... Diff like, I don't know how to speak on it, but like with reality, it's like feeling I'm not a part of this earth, bro. Like, just always feeling like... I wouldn't even say different, bro. I just felt like I was me. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's the time I feel like, especially young man, you starting to grow into shit, especially you getting 12 and all that shit. That's when it really started hitting the girls, all that shit. I don't, I don't even know, bro. I was a 10. I was a normal kid doing normal shit, bro. Going to school, that type of shit, like doing sports. Was I doing sports as 10? I think I was playing JV football. Quincy Panthers, some shit like that. Or I was in, yeah, something like that, yeah. Sports. Do I have a prom story? No, I don't have no prom story. I think I went to homecoming though. Um, I went to homecoming and I'm from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania shit. So I went in there. I remember they was playing, I was with my man Stan, shout out to Stan. But we went in, we went together, pulled up my little Honda Civic 2004 jump. You feel me? My shit was black, blue, and white, three different colors. Like my car was hot as shit. But yeah, shit, we pulled up. They was playing like, no disrespect or nothing, but they was playing like Lil John and like old ass. They were playing the music, bro, that like, I won't even say like, you feel me? I ain't saying no disrespect on the hip hop, but they in there playing shit. I'm like, damn, y'all ain't playing no artists that we listen to now. They wasn't doing that, so I ain't gonna lie. Music so whack, and we wasn't allowed. At my school, you can't like dance up on a girl and all that shit, so I ain't gonna lie. We was in that joint probably, probably like five minutes, bro. We dipped. And we went to my one friend house at the time. We just went smoke, like we just went and got high, chill for the night, and then waited for the parties afterwards type shit. Yep. Nickelodeon versus Cartoon Network versus what's the other one? Disney Channel. Disney Channel. Nickelodeon for sure. I was a SpongeBob. Like I like Cartoon Network though when it come to like Scooby Doo. I like Scooby Doo. I like um my favorite show is Courage the Cowardly Dog. That joint too. Uh, yeah. SpongeBob, I was hooked for sure. I like no funny shit. I'll be honest. I like that Carly, Zoe One on One, No Cap <laughs> on my soul. <laughs> my little sister used to watch that shit. I'd be right there with her after school. I ain't, I ain't lying. That shit fire. Shout out to Carly and Zoe One on One. Classics. Game.
shit. Now I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't even know if I fully believed it in at first. Like I was just doing it, and that shit happened. So it's like I got no choice but to believe in it. You get what I'm saying? And it's different for me. Like if people know, my fans know the real ones. Like I've been doing music since I was four. So it's like this shit ain't nothing new. I've been doing this shit since I was four years old, bro. Like in the studios. I done did everything that you can do, bro. Like, you get what I'm saying? I'm a true student to the game, so I know how this shit go. That's why I don't be like, I'm big on my moment, right? But I don't rush nothing. Like, I know it's gonna come. You get what I'm saying? Even if people think I have my time, and my time ain't even come yet. This is about to be my time, my go around. Now my family said everybody got places, everybody good now, you feel me? Now it's my go around, like, I can enjoy myself. You get what I'm saying? And it's hard, I gotta force myself. That's another stage that I'm at in my life, like, I gotta force myself to do shit for myself, cause you take care of people and shit for so long, you kinda forget how to take care of yourself. I would say forget, but you just don't. That shit don't become a priority anymore. You're like, well shit, as long as they good, I'll be fine. But you really ain't good. So that's what I'm focused on now is like making sure I'm good. You feel me? I mean, I always knew it was going to be music. It was going to have to be it, bro, because that's just what I did. Like, I'd probably still be doing this shit right now. You get what I'm saying? If I wasn't famous or whatever, I'd be on the side of the road hustling or doing what I'm still selling my mixtape, whatever. Like, I get it done because I done did all the promo and everything. That's what I'm saying. It's like I was independent before the label, so there's nothing wrong with me being independent now because I did that. I used to pay for a promo. I used to do this and go meet these people and do all that. So it's like it's nothing to me. Like, I used to. All the experience, too. That you've been that's what I'm saying, bro. I got experience. Like, I'm what, five, six years? You said this. I last remember like five years ago. I'm like six years in the game, bro. Like, I done learned a lot, and I'm still here standing. Yeah, now it's just time to teach what I what I was taught, you feel me? And a lot of people forget, like, the start of my wave when I came out, you know, Trippy Red, Lil Peep, all that X, like, everybody, bro, like, even how I was watching Trippy and be like, man, nobody left, like, bro, I even come up of that, you feel me? I'm from that era, like, even the face tats and all that, so they can't call me no one to be or one, bro, I had this shit before I was famous, so how could you say, I want it to be, you feel me? That's why me, I just don't, I'm trying to get back out on the internet more and post more for my fans and shit, but I really don't entertain that shit. I don't be paying attention to the internet. But now I'm trying to do it a little bit more just for my fans, cause I know they be wanting to see me and shit and I'll go ghost, like not giving a fuck. Cause I just be trying to live a real life nowadays. Like you get what I'm saying? I got a kid now type of shit. So I really be on daddy timing when I'm not in the studio. Like I got my son, so. I'm hands on with that shit, you feel me? But I'm thankful, you feel me? COVID, all that shit, like it, te it taught everybody something. It set us all down, but taught everybody something in that time, so I'm thankful. Like I got the bomb my son, and that's time. Shit, I know that time me more than any money, anything I could ever give him, so that's why I just be there for him too, on that note. Shout out my little man, my baby. I love you, kid. Daddy love you all. You know how I rock about you, babe. You gonna see this shit when you ought to be like, my pops did that. I know, I'm one of the ones. You one of the ones, too. You gonna see? My prince, for sure. 86 years old, shit. What do I look like? More face tats. More tattoos, for sure. Like, I'm just gonna be cool, though. I'm gonna be swagged out, chilling. I'm gonna be dripping, you feel me, doing my thing. I'll give you the answer, cause I felt like Ski for real. Ski was like, I'm gonna be that old ass nigga smoking weed, giving niggas knowledge. Now I already be type doing that. I'll be trying to, but that's really how I'm gonna be. Cause like, yeah, I love the weed. So I'm gonna be blowing down, chilling, have my little wife. My kids are gonna be out the house and shit. We just gonna be chilling with a good life, shit. What's the realest shit I ever wrote? Can I spit it now? What's the realest shit I ever wrote, bro? Oh shit, probably highs and lows. Oh Shelby. Yeah, that's a good one. How's it go? And lately I've been a mess. I really think that I'm depressed. You try to tell me I'm not worried when you know and not be stressed. I looked on the bright side just to see you love me less. When I was down, I had nobody. You's the only one I text, I know. It's hard living life on your own. I'm on the road and I just gotta go. I'm really stuck in my zone. I'm working hard, barely keeping control. Through this life, see his highs and his lows. You didn't want me to grow. Everybody act like something I owe. I ain't even gonna go into it cause it just shit get deep, bro. Like, that's one of them ones though, like highs and lows. It be them songs too. And I ain't gonna lie, I feel like a lot of artist songs, people might like this one song specifically, but the artist might like this other song more. But that's really how the game go, bro. That shit be weird. like. It don't always be like that, the song you like the most, you feel me? Sometimes the other songs go. 
But I know that one's still like the fans. I didn't see people get tattoos of that shit. That's type shit I live for. I like, like, yeah. You tap my shit on me, that mean you with me for life. Like if a per person got me tatted on the lyrics, they with me right or wrong, no matter what I do. Cause you can't take that back. So you gotta really love me. So like, damn, that shit crazy to me still. But it's not that crazy, right? Cause I got people names tatted all over me. I'm like a walking fucking joint. I got tats all over me, bro. Who I really be? I ain't gonna lie, I've been fucking with Destroy shit heavy too. And Ken shit hard too. Mm -hmm. um, who else I be listening to? Yeah. I've been fucking with that right now too. You know Ye, yeah, everybody know Ye. Ye shit be rocking. Niggas definitely be bumping that shit. Even his man shit too. Fuck, what's his brother name? He be with all the time. September. Yeah, September. September fire, bro. I listen to his project. He fire. He dope. Shit, I think it's fire right now. Like, I like it. And with these niggas' performances, bro, oh my gosh. Like, nigga, I was watching, like, Destroy Lonely, the LA one. I, I be watching everybody's shit. I always watch the Rolling Loud sets. Like, I just search Rolling Loud when they have one and watch everybody's set, bro. Everybody, even the girl, the female rappers, everybody. But them niggas shit, though, is like, and these new fans, these new age fans, yeah, they coming out that, like, you better bring that shit. You gotta bring that heat. You gotta come ready to turn up because they coming crazy, like jumping off the rip. I love it, that's fire. What's the most romantic thing I've ever done? Shit, I did a lot of romantic things. I took my girl shopping. We did a little trip. I brought her with me to Miami, wrong loud. Shit, that shit was cool. You know, a little shit like that. You gotta keep it, you gotta keep the fun in it, right? Cause nobody want no boring ass person. So you gotta keep it fun. So yeah, that's probably what it is. Give me some money, flowers. Take her out to eat, take my girl out to eat. That should be normal though, like I just treat her like a queen and shit. I should be. Niggas be lame as hell, speaking like, Ooh, like it's cool, like, it's like it's not cool to have a girl or something. Like, you niggas tripping, bro. That's all I'ma say to that, you niggas tripping. Shit, love is that shit, bro, you can't get away from it no matter what. That's what I describe love like. No matter what that person do, no matter what happened, whatever, you still gonna beat her, like. We gon' argue, bump heads, whatever, but I'ma still get in the bed with you tonight type shit. Like, that's love to me, shit. Like, seeing that shit from my grandparents, like, that real old school down south loving, that shit different, bro. Like, I done learned that's some love right there, bro, cause I'm like, damn, bro. Like, shout out my grandma, my, my mama, she a soldier, bro. Like, me and my grandfather, he a soldier too. Like, but even my mom and my step pops, like, I describe that as love, you feel me? Like, it's like my real dad too, shout out him. Like, for sure though. I, I wouldn't even put a description on love though. I ain't gonna lie, you just know. That's some shit you feel, like you can't describe it. How you said, uh, to me, I think it's like, it's a feeling, that's some shit. I'm not good with describing my feelings. I think that's why I do music, so shit. Yeah, it's a feeling, like you can't describe it. Right, my message to the youth, shit. It's gonna be the same message I always have, bro. Just. I feel like you gotta keep going no matter what, bro. You gotta stay positive even when the shit is negative. Like, you gotta keep going even when you feel like giving up. Even when times feel like it's getting tough and all that. Cause when, and I ain't gonna lie, when you make it through them times and stuff, bro, you don't appreciate it. See, that's my thing. I have a story. So, all my hard times and everything, I appreciate them. Like, I used to get mad. Why is it happening to me, all this? But now, no, I don't do that. Like, I take life for what it is, you feel me? Something come my way, because I, I realize that life is about, even being a man is about how you react. So I'm controlling my reaction. I, I don't got to flip out and get mad every time I'm angry or all this. Like, so I've been chilling. I've been doing pretty good, too. But yeah, that's what I would say. Like, the message to you, don't give up when you feel like giving up, because that'd be the time when you really learn something about yourself. And it'll make you go harder, for sure. Yeah, man, it's a little sky. Shout out to Montreality. Love, they treat me like family. I'm gonna come back. Y'all want me for another interview? Just let them know. We're gonna come back for sure. sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> Montreality Show. That cool ass nigga that's passing on knowledge to all the young niggas that all the young niggas would love to come to is the porch. I'm finna be in my, my porch on a rock and it's rolling up and shit. Like, let me tell you when I was young and boy, you don't know nothing about XXX.